12k is a bit more manageable, but getting my stability up. Maybe a nice event will hit, which will give me all that I need there. Like the levy, which does no such thing. I'll just cheese off the nobility. Get out of my face. There's the uh, unrest guy, but he's not available to me right now. Like Shan cancelling our rights, it's fine. What will be the route into Europe? Probably gonna go by boat and go around Africa. If I just maul my way in, I won't be able to move my capital, and I'll have a hard time shifting religion. I don't want to have a big rebellious mess to change religions. I just want to grab enough land and then have a few rebs take care of that. Ayutthaya really hate my guts. But hopefully they get so dismantled that that's not even a consideration. What I want is them to lose their subjects. Because the land they can lose through rebels, their um, they're subjects, so that's a different kettle of fish. Mong Nai is not somebody I'm looking at a uh, good potential ally as. Dai Viet, though, we're close. We're just slightly not close enough. Also, why is that unrest growing? That just isn't right. Happy Thanksgiving from the Colonies, says Bembo1992. Why, thank you. It's nice to hear people actually being thankful for something on Thanksgiving. I've celebrated Thanksgiving three times in my life. All of them were amazing. It was just, uh, you're in a food coma for a couple days after it. I have a very bad joke about what it makes Christmas dinner look like, but it's, uh, it's a great time. Easy to make fun of, sure, but try it yourself. It's great. Right, I'm not sure if any of these guys are worth investing in as friends go. We're going to make do with our two crummy little allies here, but we are under the protection of Ava, so if Ayutaya wanted to gun us down, he'd be dealing with Ava as well. Uh, you're still allied with Langshang, but Langshang is lying dead in a ditch for a while. Hopefully a while enough for my truce with you to run out. December 56. Improvements in government priorities, just enough to get me the stability that I need. Comes at a great cost, but that is fine. This is our moment. Ah, my inflation looks fine. Uh, let's enjoy this. And that is just almost barely enough to keep this. Watch it just go away. I know I will. What about going through Egypt and the Red Sea? That's another opportunity. It would put me on the Ottomans' kill book, but... Uh, could be survival. There we go. Now the Pegu Separatists are going away. I'm getting real friendly with Ava from all this uh, tribute sharing. Well, that's fine by me. Lawyers are at odds. Karma, karma, karma. Well, I, I desperately need to gain some karma here. <laughs> Monthly autonomy change minus 0 0.02 for 10 years is not something worth caring about. Let's just gain some actual karma in the hopes that someday we have uh, mediated middleman karma. Playing on normal here, Dark Young. Some days I feel like very hard, some days I feel like normal. I <laughs> feel like normal. That'll be the day. We want to get an idea of how the Ottomans are doing. We can always keep an eye on their development there. 337. That's well, not a whole lot more than they start with, so maybe they're starting off slow. And they're behind the Mamluks, at least. Alright, I got a lazy diplomat, and that is just not right. I'm not exactly making claims right now. I don't really want Sukhothai land. Like I said, I want to have a fairly concise area of land here. And I want to keep it to coastline as much as I can as well. If I take this area for myself off of the corpse of Ayutthaya... Oh, they're a tributary of Ming. Hang on, then why didn't Ming help out in this war? Maybe they were too busy with the Oirats. Speaking of which, they're at war with the Oirats, so if the Oirat managed to capture their... Uh, capture their monarch, then it's good fight, good night to them. Right, well, I have a couple of uh, provinces that I'm planning on taking anyway. My attempts to keep Bengal sweet are not working so well. 
My attempts to get a die Vietnamese ally also not working so well. They'll demand ducats now, will they? <laughs> Mong Nai still don't look like a good ally uh, opportunity here. Arissa, how's that war going with Bengal? You started it. And you're losing because they're still defending Bishanpur, but who's sieging who here? Looks like it's Bengal on the attack. Looks fairly easy to attack, though. Jake, the enemy of your enemy is your friend, says Traffic Hunt. That's not true. The enemy of your enemy is your ally, not your friend. Don't get whipped up into sentimental matters when it comes to uh, your military affairs. Or you'll be doomed. Alright, this is just getting more and more expensive, but no good reason not to buy it, so we'll take it. How many trial runs have I missed, says Nadishko. Zero so far, and I'm established to the point where I don't think I'm going to eat a, uh, a restart just yet. But you never know. Ayutthaya are very, very angry with me for reasons I just can't quite fathom. Uh, they're at war, but they're not losing the war. Since they occupy Tangu and Hippashaw and all of that, they're actually in a pretty good state. Wait, what? They're a vassal under Ayutthaya, but Ayutthaya apparently won't help them. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm quite certain they will help them. Uh, but Ayutthaya still has an army that makes mine kind of wet themselves a bit. If we even look at the ledger here militarily. The army of Ayutthaya. Yeah, it's still 18,000. No manpower granted, but... Mm. And Ligor is still their subject as well, of course. It's considering the war, uh, the warning call to arm. Yes, it is. It's okay, as long as Ayutthaya... Uh, Hmm, Shen Wheel still get involved here annoyingly. Langshang will probably save um, Arakan by the time war comes around. I can't have unrest around here. Pantheon. It's an oddly Roman sounding word. But it's goods produced on grain, and it's uh, tax on only three-ish base tax. Yeah, that's fine. Take what you need as long as you give me that sweet karma. We're on our way. The enemy of my enemy is clearly my enemy. No sharing of capital, says Elkoro6. I like that approach a whole lot more. I don't like the Langshang helping out in this, though. Langshang are not at war, and they could have a lot of land to defect to them as well. Right, there we go. Full on cores. Cores a core. Not that it really helped me full coring it at all, but. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have all things considered. It's the thing about starting so small, you need the initial admin investment to grow a little bit bigger. And if you increase autonomy like I do, I probably should uh, start adapting tactics where I reduce autonomy rather than increasing it. But I don't want to deal with early game rebels, they'll shatter my treasury and manpower. Then again, the lowered autonomy feeds into both of those things. I think I make a poor decision on that front, but it is the way I play. Maybe putting a state in high autonomy full cores if the influence won't rise too much. Oh yeah, right. Estates. Can't remember if we've talked about estates for 130, so... Uh, I'll just keep my trap relatively shut. What kind of provinces do we have here anyway? Wouldn't be too shabby to get those uh, those admin bonuses, especially around here. That's a great province to be uh, give me a fat load of ducats from. And then there are these two. Sugar isn't that good just yet. You gotta get them that influence. Otherwise, none of these are particularly good on manpower. Don't do estates, Jake. They're never worth it. No, they are quite often worth it. Especially when I want to turbo through my um, my tech here. I need a whole lot better tech. 
Tempted to give Pegu to the Merchant Guild. Spices are nice, but uh, it's a very, very nice province. Yeah, what the hell. I'm not a monster. There we go. Just give them some land so I can actually start playing around with them a bit. For example, I could do with a general that doesn't blow. And I'd really like that admin power. Especially if I get an unrest guy that keeps uh, keeps that in check. So yeah, give me that sweet admin, please. Should have thought about that earlier when I was struggling on my monarch points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I do like a bit more ducats. Well, I like a lot more ducats. I might give the uh, give the merchant guilds a better stake in my everything. Here, I'll give them this. And I'll probably want boats out of them before too long as well. Mm -hmm. I want both of these things. I'll get myself a minister just to boost this a bit higher, and then I am certainly taking the the Dosh and the Diplo away from them. And there we go. We're in a pretty good state with these guys now. That Dosh could go straight back into hiring one of the awesome guys I got, but the cost is still too high, even at 50% off. How's that province income looking now? Well, the whole income situation has improved a lot. Imagine that, forgetting about uh, estate placement. What's your plan to deal with Ming so it doesn't mess you up as you head west? Um, punch Ming for money if they collapse, otherwise just ignore Ming until my capital is moved. And then it would be nice to just set up the, uh, the Roman or Proman Southeast Asia Company. I'm not looking to expand myself everywhere and anywhere, but it would just be nice to have this. I know this land is amazing, but we just had a campaign where we took over all these, so if I do take over here, I'm going to limit the expansion to here, at most down to here, but that's if I get greedy for the gold and coal and all of that, but I'd rather focus my efforts on uh, China and Southeast Asia, just, just here, just a modest chunk of it. Would you want to be a Ming tributary? I'm not really sure I would. I also forget, can you offer to be somebody's tributary? Or do they have to ask you? I think they have to ask you, and I'm kind of fine being Abba's tributary right now. Prome is subject to none, says Tatan. There's that approach as well. Okay, we're coming towards the end of the year. I better start paying my troops and prepping up for beating on uh, poor little Tangu. Although they have Shenwi and Hipsaw on their side. Why do they hate me so much? Uh, Arakan as well, of course, but they have Lang Shang on their side. And I don't think I have good favors with... Well, I kind of do. What's keeping you, friend? Ten ducats in debt. Oh, Mong Pai. But I'd rather have Lan Na help me out, because they have that awesome fort that just gobbles up enemies. Um... You know, just gobbles up enemies in general. And then there's Lang Shang, but they only have 4,000 units. I could just smash you, turn around, smash you, and I'm a non stop smashing machine. In fact, I wouldn't mind subjugating Lang Shang so that I have all of these cores to reconquer. Hmm, what's the war score cost on you? 33. You're allied with Mong Pai, but I could bring in Mong Pai to this war after paying off their debt, and then, yeah, I just subjugate you. Comes together quite nicely, dare I say. Alright, in preparation for that, I really don't want to pay off your debt for you. Like, you don't have troops, how could you, how could you be costing anything here? Alright, no need to suppress rebels, the rebels are significantly suppressed. Uh, I could do with that prestige and legitimacy, even though it's a big cost. I also don't want my ancestors watching me like they say they would. Lana does not own the favors. And then there's the debt. The debt isn't enough. There's actually a lack of trust. 
and your lack of army strength, but I do want you involved. Um, I could improve my own diplomatic reputation to help out with that if there's a guy that I could hire for it, and there is. So if I do that and reluctantly pay off your debt so that you don't get involved in the war against me. Uh, that's not enough though, I need... If I want Lana involved, and I really don't need them involved actually, I can just have Mong Pai help out and we're Gucci. Hang on, if I make Lang Shang a co-belligerent, will Ming get involved? Pretty big question, that. Really big question, that. It's the kind of thing I would go off and check on my own, but uh, I can't be entirely sure. Oh, Jake, let's not Ming, Ing, Ing, uh, make Ming angry right now. Look, Ming are falling apart. See, they got Yi separatists already, and they're in that war with, uh, with the Oirat. Which Oirat are clearly about to do a comeback from, as 10,000 siege up their capital of Kobo. Uh, I think Ming are in an alright state here. Oh, Jake, Ming, make Ming angry right now. Alright, uh, not doing this as a co belligerent is going to make me a fair few enemies, but let's just deal with that in due time. Alright. Gun him down. Who needs allies in this? Oh, I recently broke a promise to give land, so they wouldn't want to join in on that case. But I wouldn't have to promise them land. Just have to kick so... Oh my goodness. You're the kind of guy that I like to have around. Yoink. And I'm just going to leave a single regiment behind. And then hunt down Lang Shang as fast as I can. I'd take down Tangu as well, but I don't need to involve more people in all of this. 50 set. Oh yeah, it's coastal. Uh, coastal, so go figure. Lang Shang are at tech 3. Arakan were not, so this should be an easy, even easier fight, although I did catch a glimpse of that two-star general. We've got a couple of stars of our own. What is that flag? Sirmur. They must exist from the start, but I have never acknowledged them before. Probably because when you look in this region, you immediately gravitate towards... Dang! Are we going towards a Proman Republic? Uh, I do love playing Republics, but I just came out of a big old Republic campaign. So there's no pressing need to do that in my view. Speaking of pressing needs, where are you off to? 20th, 26th, but he's going down there. What I will do is make sure that he has nowhere to run to and chase him down with 6,000. This probably will make Ming quite angry, and it'll probably make Dai Viet quite angry, because he wants this land as well. I'm going to make a lot of people angry, so I shouldn't have my diplomats as lazy as they are. I should consider who is going to coalition me out of all of this. Uh, Ming probably won't. Ooh, that makes a lot of people unhappy. But we can deal with that. Uh, Hip Sean, Shen Wei, maybe not. Lang Shang's not a problem. Tangu won't exist, hopefully, if I ever take them down. Um, Mong Mao. Mong Mao and Shen Wei, I should probably take care of, actually. Mong Mao, well, didn't they pull the trigger on the previous coalition war? I shouldn't risk uh, angering them, because they clearly have ambitions on the political playing field. I'm going to fight you in the hills, but that's okay. You're going to run to more hills, but that's also okay. Because I was born to... <laughs> okay, sure. Hey, Jake and Chad, I was wondering if the results of the channel survey are in and when the rundown of the results would be. Uh, the results are certainly in, but I want to do a proper analysis of them and, and video accompanying that. And that is... Uh to be determined, because, good lord, it was a lot to read through, and I'm still reading through it. I thought I could get it done in a few evenings, but even spending a couple hours each night reading through it, uh, it's tough. It was far more wordy than the last one we did. 
Lana separatists. Well, that's fine. Lana's my vassal, so it's kind of good if they take that land. Let's get ourselves back over there. Ta, you die are bankrupt. That might be bad news for me if Lang Shan get all this land defected to them because that raises liberty desire something fierce. Jake complains about having too many fans. No, I'm not complaining. It's great to read through it. I'm just saying it takes a whole lot of time. Let's get our king involved so we can move along here a bit faster. What is with the wipes? You have a zero shock, a zero sock general for God's sake. I have tech four. They do not. Ayutthaya, uh, sorry, Arakan did, had tech four, but I also had them flanked. I only use one bit of cavalry, but you can still flank fine if you uh, if you do your homework. There's a bit of inefficiency with the way the game deploys battle lines. Um, that says it matches inf it matches all of the opponent's lines with your infantry, and then immediately does cavalry when it can be more efficient for it to do uh, to flank with infantry than with cavalry. Also, you don't have any siege, so I'm not going to put you there. This this siege will take forever, but I'm probably going to separate peace Lang Shang, sub, um, subjugate them, and then uh, I will keep Lang Shang as a subject for a long time, even though their um, even though their tech kind of blows. It would be nice to actually just annex them, but I can't take this land; it's too far away. I would quite like to gain some karma, but ten prestige is a lot to lose for that. Ayutthaya cancelled our access. Looks like they broke marriage as well. But it's not like he has stability to worry about. He does, however, have a lot of rebels to worry about. And he lost one of his subjects. Yeah, he did. He lost Ligur, but he kept Sukatai. Sukatai, man, what a hard start. Any chances of jumping on Ayutthaya while they're bankrupt? I certainly have the chances, but Ming. I'm probably not too happy with that. They did still warn me, though. So... Allied with Siak. Oh, yeah, well. I don't need to do that big a land grab, and also my aggressive expansion is something to be vaguely aware of. Who else do I not want to cheese off so hard? My allies, for one. Uh, Mong Pai is looking a little dipsy there. What religion are we? We are, of course, Theravada. Not Vajrayana. Not Mahayana. There are other Mahayanas out there, aren't there? I knew it. Technically correct, as always. So, Tengu, how are you looking with those alliances of yours with Shemwi and Hipsaw? How much do you really want to be friends with them? I think Majapahit is too. No, Majapahit is extremely Hindu. It's all just potato potato, isn't it? I'm so glad we dealt with those Pegu separatists. Because I could do with them not being here right now. Which is good, because they're not here right now. Ooh, what I could jump on Ayutthaya for are all these cores that belong to my subject. But again, the Ming being involved is a bit of a meh for me. But at least I have a bridge of allies over to you. And we're only two out of four of our... Um, of our... Hold that thought. Ah, good enough. Only two out of four on our alliances and diplomatic thingamajiggers. So we take this. We're going to make a lot of people very unhappy. Tangu, Hipshaw, Shenwei, Mongmao, and... Not Arakan, at least. Mong Mao, Shen Wei, Hip Shaw. I might just leave them occupied like that for a bit, even though they're going to burn for it. They certainly want peace, the poor buggers. That's what happens when you don't make somebody a co belligerent. Now, I could always pull the trigger on Tangu to get this ball rolling instead. Um, Shen Wei and. Shepaw. They've got 7k right there. They both have tech 4. 
I, however, have tech 5. Not that it's that great, but it is my tech to have. Let's get ourselves a far more offensive foot soldier. Probably just yells slurs at the enemies as they fight. It's a shame. I don't want to sit in this guy forever because he's going to burn as my subject for that. But maybe it's alright that he burns. Keep him weak. I'm just having him there so that he can administer these lands in my stead. And it's a lot of lands, even if it's not particularly good lands. Mm -hmm. Is the purpose of this campaign a great pun? Um, I mean, the prome Rome thing is just the... Uh, the inspiration behind what I think is going to be a pretty enjoyable campaign. And it certainly started off real exciting. This is one powder keg here. Ah, well there's a thought. If I do get coalition, then my good overlord Ava will certainly protect me. Certainly. Still though, I'm not super satisfied with, uh, with there being so many of them. Tangu... Ipso, Shenwei. If I can get Sipo or Shenwei out of this, we're good. Oh, but they really hate me. And Tangu, yeah, there's just no way. What have you scared of? It's no one of note. I'm really not scared of them, am I? I just don't like being bogged down in coalitions. I could take the money off of you, and trust me, I think I could put those 70 ducats to a lot better use than you can. And if you go bankrupt, so what? You you have all your lands together. So, there we go. We'll just get that. Coalition, coalition, coalition. Oh, well, there's a problem. <laughs> they really don't like me, do they? No, they kind of hate me. Let's deal with that uh, on in good time. Where's your sense of greed, Jake? Just fight the coalition. Also, uh, also valid. At least my allies still think good of me. Ah, uh, we're keeping Mong Mao off our back. Just barely, but we're keeping him there. Ah, now I have all these cores to reconquer off of Ayutthaya, but their relationship with the Ming is a problem for me. Still, I said I wanted to fight the Ming. And what I could do is get a very technical Cassus Belly off of them if I tell my subject to make a claim on Gangnan. Let's get Guangnan style on them. Convert to animism, Jake, to bring proper paganism back to Rome. I think not. Who's wanting it? Mong Pai. I, no, I'm not looking for a long, long-term relationship here. Also, what in the world am I paying this fort for? Away you go. Let's make sure that, that accident doesn't happen again. Make sure that we don't automatically raise maintenance and uh, forts in war. I think relation relationship with Shenwei is a bit of a bit of a non-starter there. Let's raise relationship with our subject instead. And I certainly want this province. As long as I don't cheese off Bengal, which I won't, but Mong Yang and Khmer will remember this. Mong Yang and Khmer. Mong Yang have exploded in power around here. The trade goods still awesome here. If I recall there's gold to be had around here. Maybe I'm thinking way too far back. Mm, I could have sworn there was gold. Oh right, it was turned into gems when we did Dharma. It's gonna take a long time before I stop saying we, but what you gonna do? And I don't think there's any coal to be had in the area either. You can check coal by clicking on somewhere like there and then going, nope, no industrial capacity down here. Fighting non-stop coalitions in Iberia is how I met the Jake experience, so probably you're gonna fight it again. Oh, I strongly suspect that uh, it's going to be lots of war in Europe when we're there. Karma? No, I am. I like ducats, sure, but let's actually try to gain some karma here. Because it's not very balanced. Peasant war for Ayutthaya. It's just going from bad to worse for them. Wait for uh, January. That'll remove Khmer from coalition territory. 
Let's see, we're still going up with Mong Mao, but Mong Mao's in a pretty good space. Uh, and I've already forgotten who the other guys were. Mong Yang and Khmer. 